Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my Florida drive-by. I'm in southern Florida right now on the I-75. I'm actually going northbound, heading towards Sarasota, Florida. It's a beautiful day. Today's Tuesday. It's the 28th of March, 2017. This month, I'll tell you guys, it's been dragging by so slow. It's been dragging its ass. But um, I'm glad everybody's out there, healthy, healthy, and wise, and tuning in. And I just wanted to tell you, you can't keep a good man down. I've survived a lot of things in my life, guy. Okay? So, whenever life thinks, and, and, and it doesn't really matter, screw everybody else what they think. you got to live for yourself. You only have one life, and your life, once it's gone, it's gone. So, I just want to, you know, say that in the beginning of this drive-by. But it's about 87 degrees out. It's nice. It's about uh, 12.38 in the afternoon. And uh, I've got my spring water, and I am just going doing what I got to do. You know, surviving, right? Uh, I wanted to bring up uh, a subject here, and this is going to be um, some differences. Uh, and I'm going to have the differences in the Ed Brown, the Wilson Combat, and the Nighthawk Custom. And uh, I'm actually doing it in that order because. Um, a lot of people have questions. I mean, you're looking into getting a little higher end 1911. Uh, the Ed Brown is a great 1911. Very well made. Um, you know, uh, Ed Brown invented the bobtail. I don't know if you know and registered that. And that's what's on most of the guns right now. They have bobtails. They're all Ed Browns. However, some companies uh, came out with round butts and uh, less than round butt uh, just to be kind of unique to themselves. But anyway, that uh, Ed Brown is the inventor of the bobtail. That's a really nice thing. Right? Now, Ed Brown guns, built by hand, they're nice guns. They're not very expensive. They're intermediately priced. You can get a nice Bob Brown, uh, Ed Brown for probably, uh, I say Bob Brown, I might have, Ed Brown for about under three grand you could get one, depending on what model you get. Uh, well made, uh, you, know, they, you know, they're all solid. Uh, no MIM, you know, metal injection parts. Not, well, I, I put that back, the newer ones don't have it. Some of the older ones did have some metal injection parts. And all you have to do is look at the serial number, and you can always call Ed Brown, so if you're buying it used, uh, because back then, they just couldn't make those components and didn't have the technology. Great gun. Shoots well. Uh, I like the Cobra Carry. I think that's a sweet gun. Quite a few people own that Cobra Carry, which is definitely a nice gun. Um, the next one, Wilson Combat. Great gun. Well made. A lot of options. Expensive. Very long build time. You're probably looking between three and maybe, well, probably between three and five years to build a super grade if you're buying one. If you look around, you can find them sometimes on Gun Broker. Expensive guns, you know, they're over $5,000 for a Super Grade. They're up there. They're very high. Um, worth the price? Well, then again, it's it's what you like. The only thing, I, I'm kind of upset there with them. And, you know, um, they don't have a bobtail. They don't offer one. They offer their own uh, round butt or square butt or some, some kind of butted end. And I don't like that because they did that because they don't want to be probably putting other people's uh, modifications or technologies on their guns. Which I don't really give a shit. I think they can sell more uh, bobtailed Wilson Combat Super Grades. I think they'd be a nice feature add to your gun. But they don't. But they are accurate, they are well made, a lot of options, but you pay for them and they're very expensive. And that brings me to the next one, which is the Nighthawk Custom. Nighthawk Customs are great guns, a lot of features for the money, and they're not overly expensive. You can go out and get a Nighthawk Custom loaded custom gun for like under four grand. And the nice thing about the, uh, the uh, Nighthawk Custom, they'll bobtail it for you. They also have a feature that's not on many guns. 
they are breached, ramp, uh, a breached, actually a ramped breach face, I said it backwards. Which that means is uh, on the breach face, that's the part where the firing pin comes out, the flat area that holds the, uh, you know, the bottom of the shell. Well, below that on the slide, there's a little ramp they cut into that. Okay. And what that makes it smoother when the slide goes forward, it doesn't get that initial hit, like that click on the disconnector. You don't get snap. You know, if you take a, a regular 1911 and you rack the slide, you'll hear the disconnector getting hit by the breech face. In this case, it does not. They're accurate very well made and those guys will bend over, they'll give you discounts and the guns, they build them fast. You can probably get one of those guns for about in about four months you know, out the door they'll have a gun for you. you know, nice guns, well made and uh, and they're collectible too. they're really nice guns and the nice thing about it, they can start building it and you don't even got to pay any money until it's done and then you can pick it up. Isn't that beautiful? That's really nice. So if you have a question on which ones, myself, you know, it really is, it's, it's a, it, it depends on you, but the value wise for money and accuracy and performance, Nighthawk Customs got to be probably number one. If you're just going by price, it's at Brown. And then, of course, if you want to get a lot of custom stuff and you just want to see you have one, Wilson Combat. But thanks a lot, guys. Uh, have a great day. But I just like that feature having a bobtail and a ramped breech face. That's nice. And they have some nice models out there right now. Take it easy, and thanks for tuning in to my drive-by. Everybody have a great day.